everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Spellbinders and their monthly card kit. This month's theme is called Party Hat and Streamers. So let's start off seeing what comes inside of our kit. You get your card that, sh that lists out the items that will be in your kit that you will be receiving and some inspiration. You get some cardstock along with a sheet of mirror cardstock. You get a roll of double-sided tape and double-sided foam squares, and that whole square can be used. Your 10 card bases that are standard A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, with envelopes. You get a six by six paper pad with multiple designs, and you get two of each design. No, though, this is not a cardstock pad, okay? This is a paper pad. So this is, I, I'm going to say, just under 65 pounds, maybe less than that. Um, but it's not a thick cardstock. But it is perfect for layering on your cards. And that is how I'm inspired by this kit. Every It doesn't matter what this kit has in it. I am inspired to collage and to layer. And that's what I show. You get a packet of gold sequins, some adorable little hats with metallic pom-poms. You get some puffy sentiments, some chipboard stickers, and then of course, the die cut pack. This has all kinds of images, whether it's floral, flag, sentiments, anything. Here is a stamp set that comes with it with some great sentiments and some candles. And then your die set actually builds a party hat. So real cute. So let's get started. As always, I start layering and collaging with this kit. I break down the paper pad. I pull one of each paper design out. And then I just start matching them together. I use the double-sided tape to always put my layers down. These build all the bases that you'll see when they go on the card, um, on the card bases are cut to four by five and a quarter. And then everything else I could not tell you, I don't measure it. I just do the cutting. I match up the die cuts and this one here, I have a rainbow. I pulled a banner um, of flowers that match the background, which helps to pull that out. A couple of the butterflies where I'm just gonna bend the wings up and just put some glue in the center. and then add a few of the gold sequins um, on the front of the card. For our next card, more collaging. Now the background uh, pattern paper that I'm using has a lot of words. There's, there's a lot of words already on that. Know that when you pull, that when you use something like that, you can, I'm pulling out the rest of my cards. That's that noise. Uh, sorry. You can use that as your sentiment. Um, you know, I, I will add sentiments to my card and I'm going to say about 75% of the time I do. However, that 25% that I don't, that is a stash that I keep so that if any occasion should just quickly pop up, whether it's for myself whether for my husband or whether it's for something that we're going to go to together, we have a card because I can add any sentiment. This here, it's got a lot of different sayings. So very universal. Um, and then I also take that into account when it comes to the collaging, when it comes to the items that I'm going to add, how much I'm going to add. And if I do choose, choose a, a, a sentiment, like I did in this one, <clears throat> I'm cautious with what I choose. Use the double-sided foam squares just to prop up one of the elements. And the sentiment I chose is start the party. So again, any celebration doesn't have to be a birthday. Um, it could be anything that anybody um, is having a good time with. For the next card, I'm letting the pattern paper do the work. Um, pretty much. And that's the best thing about pattern paper. Keep in mind that when you have a kit and it includes your pattern paper and, and so forth, it's all meant to go to get, to go together. And I say this every single time. So 
any of your pattern papers will match. They may not look right to the eye, but they are made to match. So for this one, I just cut the large panel for the back. I cut a strip panel um, for the front and I'm using the puffy stickers for my sentiment. So the large puffy sticker is going to say wish. And I was really surprised I didn't lose the top of the eye. And then off to the right, I'm going to have the word big. And then we'll add some um, gold sequins as well on this one. The item that I'm using to pick up the sequins is called a wax pencil. I get that question a lot and I'm sorry, I never say what it is. It is a wax pencil. Um, it's used in the nail industry and Vicki P cause I can't pronounce her last name. Um, I mean, no disrespect, um, is the one that got me in tune to those. So for our next card, we are going to split the card stock. So I have the main panel and then I cut another piece of the pattern paper on a diagonal and I'm going to set that down onto our card base. Now I have our elements here and I'm just looking at where they would sit if I didn't glue that piece down and I'm going to cut them on an angle just to give the illusion that they're coming up from underneath it. I'm going to use the uh, large round piece as a backdrop and then I'm just changing the angle on some of the items that I am going to bring in. For the most part, I'm using the double-sided tape to adhere all of the panels. I do pull in my liquid glue, which is outside of the kit, to uh, adhere my embellishments, um, the die cut pieces, um, or anything else like that. I'm going to add some, more, some gold sequins for this one as well. Next up, and you can see each of them have a theme. So kind of everything kind of sort of matches. So this one is all about the presents and the cake because you can't have enough of that. So I'm creating a small frame um, that'll sit down in the right hand side with all of the balloons. The sentiment's going to be simply hooray. But once I get this panel down, um, I'll be able to pull another piece of pattern paper framed in the yellow like I have here. And then since that pattern paper that's inside the yellow mint is smaller, these pieces will pop off. They will, you will be able to see them. So the eye will actually be drawn to those items. And if you heard that, I apologize. This one's going to have a, a floral theme because I wanted to make sure that I didn't cut or cut too large of a centerpiece, the focal point, to hide that beautiful paper. Now, this paper's so gorgeous, just put a sentiment on it and bam, you're done. Um, again, pattern paper can do the work for you. So I did cut a smaller uh, focal point down. I cut one out of the mirror cardstock and then I cut a piece of the pattern paper, just a little bit smaller. I'm going to place that down on my panel and then get this onto our card base. And then I just grabbed some of the, and if you heard that chair, I am so sorry. <laughs> There's so many noises. It's beautiful weather. So everybody all at once is cutting the lawn, um, weed whacking, or trucks are backing up because they're dropping off mulch at every house near me. So I apologize. And I'm just not helping with the noise that I'm making. So I do apologize. Um, so I have the string of candles along the bottom. I have the big bouquet of balloons. Um, we're going to add some sunglasses that say that says B-Day Girl. And then also the sentiment that's going to sit on top that says B-Day Girl or Birthday Girl um, as well. This one here, still sticking with that floral theme because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. We have a black and white in the background 
and I do love when the background is a, is a black, gray, and white, and then you place these pops of color on them. Um, I think it's a gorgeous technique. I took one of the pattern papers that looked like clouds, sky. It's really like a watercolor. I framed it in black, and I am going to set that up onto the center of the black and white panel of the cakes. Around that frame, because that mat's going to create that frame, I'm going to place these, the floral images. And these are watercolor, just pen and ink watercolor um, florals. So I'm actually going to build them around this frame to make it look like they're part of it. And then I'll actually come in with the stamp set and stamp the sentiment. Again, remember you can use that whole block and that's why I have so many of them. I get a question. I get this question a lot. Do you get extras in your kit when it comes to the tape or when it comes to the double-sided foam squares? No, I receive the kit just as you all would receive the kit. And that's how much you'll have left over depending upon how you use it. I always have stuff that's left over. Um, so I just keep it and I keep using it. I'm going to grab the sentiment, wonderful people deserve wonderful birthdays. And I'm going to stamp that on the right hand side, um, just above that pink flower there. And of course I do this after I put all those elements on. You should always stamp your sentiment if you're doing something like this before you put all those elements. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> those foam squares can throw off that acrylic block at any moment. I'm going to add some gold sequins inside the frame as well. I think the one previously and this one are my favorites um, because these hats are just absolutely adorable. So I have my background pattern paper and I have my block pattern paper coming in. I'm going to get that set up onto my card base using the double-sided tape again. I'm using my Spellbinders tool in one to remove the release paper. And then we are going to set our ephemera. So I have all of these candles. We're just going to set those down towards the bottom. And then I have these hats. I had to choose three of the hats because I just thought they were absolutely adorable. They are, they do have a sticker in the back, but I am adding just a little bit of liquid adhesive so that there's no chance that they would come off. I'm adding the sentiment down below that simply says celebrate. And we're going to add a few sequins. For this card, totally did not hit record, but never fear, because I actually used the stamp set. I'm going to show you what I did. I pulled out my Crayola watercolor set. I love this set. I think this set is great. I have a piece of watercolor cardstock, and I'm stamping all of the um, candles going across. We are just simply going to do a messy watercolor. And then of course I stamped happy birthday and I'm adding your future looks bright. And then now wish like you mean it. So we got a lot of sentiments going on, but that's okay. It's all cool. The more the barrier. You could have just put this in the inside as well. This is a messy watercolor. There is nothing fancy about this. Get your watercolors. I spray them just to get them uh, really juicy and wet to get them moving. And then I just add the rainbow colors going across. If they bleed, if they blend in together, like you'll see here when it comes to that blue, it just ran right into that purple. I'm just going to bring in my brush, pick it all up because it's always a thirsty brush. And then I just add the color in again, just to have the, those separations of the green and the blue and the purple and all of them. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of yellow just at the tops of the candles. Now you could wait till that dries, add some orange. Nah. I'm coming in with the blue and I am just fanning this out. I am just constantly adding in some water, just, me just melding this through, making sure I have a nice variegated look. And that's how I put that card together. I could not believe that I did not hit record. Okay, for our last card, 
I am creating the hat. So for those of you that don't like it <laughs> when I don't use the stamps or the dies, this one's got it all. <laughs> Again, we each are inspired um, what to create and us creators showing you guys and giving these tips and tricks are no different. We have to be inspired as well. <laughs> I, I get cranky, nasty, just, just, just upset comments down below, but that's okay. So setting up my frames, I've got two pieces of pattern paper. Then I cut a piece of mirror cardstock and then a piece of white cardstock on top of that, because I really want this hat to stand out. It's a two layer hat. And what's great is you can cut this front or you can leave it like that if you wanted to and put a piece of acetate behind it. Great shaker idea. And then the base of it without the insert, you just curve it a little bit. Take this top piece. I'm going to glue it right onto the top. And then those little tiny legs will help hold this up. It'll help, you know, prop it up if you want it to. Now, I believe I also added, yes, I did add foam squares in behind that too, so that it would keep the curve um, and how I put that down on the card. Spellbinders is ingenious with their dimes um, because they have even thought of the fringe at the base of the hat and the pom-pom at the top. It's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, this was just too cute. Absolutely too cute. So here's the fringe at the bottom and you'll know because it's curved. So, okay, you should set this in place before you put it on your card. Just saying, don't do things my way. Learn from my, you know, making things difficult. All right. And then you just fringe it, you, you fluff it. Just, you know, put your nail around it and it just fluffs up. The other one, okay, is, is angled. So you want to take that. I'm using my Spellbinders uh, reverse tweezers, and then I'm rolling it up. I put glue along the bottom edge and then pulling that off my tweezers and then just holding it for a little bit to make sure that it does um, hold itself and then just fringing it with my fingers, just, you know, fluffing it. Since as you're rinding it, it it's flat. Um, I am going to trim this just a little bit more and then I will glue that down onto the panel. I chose the sentiment candles and cake, which of course is always appropriate for birthdays and celebrations. You can always have cake. Cake, you don't need an occasion to have cake. Just have cake. And I'm going to add some sequins to the front as well. And that's what's great with these sequins. There's different sizes in there as well. I know I didn't say that from, from before. Those are our 10 cards made with one kit. And it's the Spellbinders June 2022 kit of the month. And it is called Party Hat and Streamers. The products that I use, so this club here will be listed down below along with a link to all of the clubs because they have some deals. If you mix this with this and this and this, you know, you can get a, another deal. So make sure you check that out. I'll also have to their blog so that you can also be inspired by others even more um, than me. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I've been doing pretty good so far. Yay! But I do hope that you are enjoying your time. The weather is finally getting a little bit better here, although we're getting a little warm too fast um, in my area. But you know what? Not complaining. It's sunny. No storms. No wicked winds. We are all good. I hope you are, though, enjoying time, whether it's with family or friends or in your crafty space, creating your art because that is what you are creating. But always remember what's most important. Always be creative.